So this is a Queen News of the World 40th anniversary box set from 2017. Um, and I believe the store still had it since 2017. Uh, because I don't think this is re-released after 2017, but I'm not really sure. So a whole lot of interesting stuff in this version. Uh, as you can see by the top view camera, the plastic or the cellophane is a little bit undone at the sides. This is the way I bought it. So uh, the contents weren't damaged, I think, but we'll have to see it live in the unboxing. Um, but first I want to check with you this version. So yeah, this is basically the uh, 2014 or 2011 remaster edition on vinyl. And this is in my collection for a while, but I want to compare this vinyl that comes with the box because there's a, there's a couple of changes there. Let's get to the box, shall we? At the right top corner, we have News of the World 40th Anniversary Edition. Uh, I believe you call this a hype sticker. I'm not really sure. I don't collect hype stickers anyway. I just throw them in the trash. We got a brand new vinyl LP, a pure analog cut. CD1, the original album. CD2, raw sessions, new alternative versions of all tracks. CD3, bonus tracks, collection and a DVD of the American Dream, a documentary. Underneath we have News of the World memorabilia, including posters, USA press kit, and a 60 page book of mostly previous unseen photographs. So yeah, at the front of the box, we have this beautiful Queen logo, not a crest this time, but just a plain logo with the font they used in 1977. At the back, we have a whole lot of text. Um, I'm not gonna read this all loud for you guys. So basically, if you want to check this text out, make sure to pause the screen for a moment and read it yourself. That's basically the box. I'm really interested in opening it, actually. So I know some people are going to cringe because some people um, keep these hype stickers. Uh, if you want a hype sticker, just send me your email and I will send it to you because I just throw these things in the trash. Let's open it up, shall we? Suspense. First thing I notice is we have a very interesting pattern on the top of the lid. Um, but yeah, let's put this to the side. So the first thing we see is, um, I think this is a backstage pass. Well, yes, it is. It's a reproduction backstage pass, uh, which access all areas of the US winter tour. And I believe this is the same, the same replica uh, people would wear at the Houston show in December. Let's put it back and put it off to the side for a moment. All right, next up we have this uh, little silk thing. Let's put it up and that's heavy. That's really heavy. So let's put the box off to the side for a second. Again, same pattern we have at the bottom of the lid. So the first thing we have is I think this is supposed to be the press kit. At the front, this is basically a LP um, cardboard sized little uh, kit. And at the front we have the outer and the inner artwork of the album with the text, startling news, new Queen album and tour, facts, dates, photos, and shocking details. So at the back, we have a little tap, which comes undone. And here we go. All right, let's uh, start in not chronological order and start at the bottom. So this seems to me like a poster. And yes, I'm correct. This is a poster of Queen, and I believe it says, appearing at the summit used in December 11, 1977. And if you haven't listened to that concert already, make sure you do because, wow, that concert is fire. We also have the uh, this isn't this is not the LP. This is just the artwork and this is the artwork that appears at the um, front of the vinyl uh, Cover so yeah, I believe this robot is called Frank. Uh, I'm not making that up. I believe he is called Frank <laughs> um, Put this off to the side and then we have the inside cover art with all the doomed people and uh, People make reference that this is a hell. Uh, I'm not really sure but uh, yeah, it's kind of a creepy album cover, isn't it? It's very iconic, but at the same time, it's very creepy. Um, we have Brian May, Freddie Mercury, uh, John Deacon, and at the back we have Roger Taylor's. Roger Taylor, uh, all dead, falling into the pit of hell. <laughs> it's a really uh, weird concept, but we'll get more to that concept a little bit later. 
So that's basically all the posters included. Then we'll get to the interesting, very interesting stuff. Um, so let's open up this little folder. And this holds a lot of contents. And we have some beautiful photographs. These are really beautiful photographs. We have John Deacon, the underrated bass player of Queen and uh, looking fine and dandy in his 77 apparel. At the side we have photo credit Christopher Hopper. Very interesting, a very nice photograph. Reminds me of the Beatles photograph you get with um, the White Album. Came with four photos, or it was a poster, I'm not really sure. Then we'll have my idol, Brian May, looking nice and dandy in his 77 apparel. What's funny about Queen, the members of Queen is uh, you can really see the change of their outfits, their apparel. Uh, but I think Brian May looked relatively the same throughout all the years uh, with these, with this big bulky curly hairstyle he has. Uh, so yeah, that's basically Brian May. Roger Taylor, I'm in love with my car. You know, a couple songs like that. His songwriting ability was good. It was good, it was fine, it was good. He didn't really wrote the more um, intrusive, um, hard aching ballads Ryan and Freddie could wrote. But nevertheless, he wrote some catchy songs and he's still a very good drummer. He's still a very fine member to the band and without Roger, they wouldn't have the success they had. Um, so yeah, that's basically Roger Taylor. Then, what can I say about this man which isn't said already? Freddie Mercury. Um, really, really big transition phase for Freddie Mercury in 76, 77. Uh, basically with the long hair, Bohemian Rhapsody style clothing, uh, he went to a more uh, street apparel, more uh, comf comfortable clothes, more sports style Adidas shoes, you know. This was basically his transition period. And um, basically Freddie in this time uh, rocked the stage with ballet shoes and weird thighs weird outfits, costumes, the silver uh, costume he always wore uh, during the 77 tour. Not always, but majority of the time. Yeah, so yeah, a really great member to the band. That's basically Freddie Mercury. Then we have a shot of the group together. We have another photo. Then we have the four members of the band. Then we have what seems to be a sticker sheet of the in and outside box art and basically the huge poster we have is a little bit redesigned into a sticker right here. All right, these are a couple of uh, papers for their fans, I guess. We have a lot of them, wow, a lot. So we basically have the making of the album, a uh, little note to Queen fans. Queens, crowns, and staging. A little bit more in depth about their Winter American tour. 1977 Queens Year in Review. Talk about the group, about Freddie, Brian, Roger, and John. The making of the album cover. That is a really interesting story. So, yeah, that's basically the letters we have going on. Uh, I will read these letters when I have a little bit more time uh, behind the scenes, but they seem very interesting. I've seen little things. Then we have what seems to be a sort of newspaper, I guess. Um, so keep in mind, News of the World, except for this whole album, was a, I believe it was a newspaper uh, in the uh, United Kingdom. And they basically named the album after that uh, newspaper. Uh, so I guess this would be a little section of the newspaper back in the day, uh, with all the photos and all the contents. So yeah, that's basically everything included in the press kit. Put this underneath our backstage tour pass. And that's your press kit. Nice, nice to see. Then we are going to the vinyl LP. And this is going to be very nice and interesting because I will show you the small differences between this and the uh, remastered album. There's something just about vinyl which uh, I can't really describe you just have to listen to it and um, whenever there's a power outage and we don't have access to Spotify 
uh, I can still listen to music. Well, not in a power outage, but let's say the Wi-Fi router stops, I could still listen to uh, decent music. So right away, I can see some very small differences uh, about the album cover. So let's get this out of the cellophane. And there we have it. So basically the front uh, isn't really all that different from the uh, remastered edition. Uh, the difference I noticed immediately came from the back, which is that the font sizing is different. Um, so the right hand side, which is the remaster, has a little bit more better visibility. And on the analog cut, they have a very thin, a very thin font. Uh, and at the bottom, we have a little, um, some line of text that reads out, pure analog signal path from original one fourth inch master tape to latte, latte. Not really sure what that is. And that's obviously missing from the remaster. If you don't know the track listing of News of the World, it basically is, we will rock you. We are the champions, sheer heart attack, all dead, all dead, which is a beautiful song. I highly suggest you listen to all that, all that. It's a really nice song. Spread your wings, fight from the inside, get down, make love, sleeping on the sidewalk. Who needs you? It's late, a six, seven minute masterpiece and my melancholy blues. And that's basically um, the outside cover. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. It doesn't come with a little cellophane sleeve. It just comes directly out of this paper style sleeve. And this is very different from the original because the original would house a red inner sleeve with all the lyrics on it. So basically, this is uh, the analog cut and this is the remastered. Take a quick peek at what we are getting here. Very nice to see all the dirty stains, all the fingerprints. Um, this is just taken directly out of the Queen uh, collection, which is uh, very nice for the fans. The date of cutting would be the 16th 977, 16977. Speed IPS would be 15, no idea what this means. In the stereo, so the back would house side two, which is, again, this is dirty right from the factory. Uh, it's inside the photo, it isn't dirty in real life, but, so the original master housing would be dirty. So it isn't on this photo, it, but the original thing was dirty, so. Get down, make love, sleeping on the sidewalk. Who needs you? It's late and my melancholy blues. Total runtime of 20 minutes and nine seconds. I really like this uh, little homage to the original master tapes as a more sense of depth of creating the album. But like I said, the original or the remaster would come with this uh, lined inner sleeve, which basically protects um, the vinyl a little bit better than just the paper housing. But right now, I will show you something else I noticed, which is the label is different. So where they had on the remaster, they had a uh, crest styled logo. So here would basically be just a regular black label with red text. Still beautiful to see a unused vinyl record. So the first play is obviously going to be the best out there. Very interesting to see. I can't wait to listen to this album to see what a pure analog record actually means because you know the terminology of it is very interesting but what does it mean sound wise because this sounds very good so that's basically everything um, of the LP but like I said it's a little bit of a shame uh, this doesn't come with a lined inner sleeve which is uh, the best protection for your records really then we're getting to the last item of this box set which would be a 60 page booklet and I'm really interested in books lately, actually. So basically interesting to see what this brings to the table, new content wise, uh, what, which isn't shown before in the collector's edition box set booklet. So yeah, let's uh, open it up. Familiar pattern we see right here. So I'll just flip through the book really fast. Uh,
Freddy Wood housed a lot of weird, uh, well, not weird, but interesting costumes, like the Harley Queen style uh, spades, just these lined outfits with the leather jacket. And this, this was the suit I was talking about earlier, this silver reflective uh, suit. Uh, to me, that's really uh, his suit for 77 that he will be remembered by. Oh, this is interesting to see. Uh, Brian May is actually wearing uh, Nike Cortezes, uh, which he did in Montreal as well. Throwing the roses at the end of the uh, end of the concert, I remember watching that part in the uh, USA tour footage. Again, Nike Cortezes. Seems to be comfortable shoes for Mr. May. Those are some nice photos, wow. You know, photos taken on film, the quality of them, wow. You can't beat really the classics, really. And it really brings the atmosphere they had during the concert. And this is basically the uh, replicated inner sleeve of the remastered, but then in page form. And all the way in the back, we have the section of the CDs and the DVDs. I'm not a huge CD guy. Uh, the CDs I have are in my car and I listen to at low volume. But um, if you're a CD collector, I'm not really sure if this would be the best way to store the CDs. Um, but yeah, it's a interesting one. So uh, my guess would be that this would be the uh, remastered 2011 version of the album by Bob Ludwig. This would be CD2 with all the uh, raw sessions on there. Some raw sessions are like more than the original actually, being it's late is one of them. So here we have the bonus tracks, instrumentals, backing uh, tracks, and alternate version, not alternate versions, but demo versions of songs. This would be the uh, DVD. And I believe, like I said earlier, this would be the BBC version uh, where they follow Queen during the Houston and East America tour. Put this back. Uh, like I said, I'm not a CD collector, um, so I'm not really sure if I'm going to listen to them because uh, they can't be in pristine conditions in my car. But I will t for definitely take a listen to this uh, vinyl edition for sure. Really interesting book, has a lot of nice pictures. So this is actually everything we get into this box set. The box itself. The press kit with a lot of photos, uh, letters to members of the fan group, um, a newspaper as well. The booklet with behind it, the CDs and the DVDs. And the analog recut of News of the World. And I must say, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. When the video ends, I'll make sure to read everything that came to this box a little bit more carefully. So yeah, uh, let's put it all back for a second. And that's basically uh, the box set. Actually, all the contents in there are very original. So keep in mind, this was released in 2017. Can't really comment on the DVDs or the CDs. Haven't really listened to them. I have listened to the raw sessions before, and of course the album itself, and that's just amazing. So basically the book houses more photos than text. So don't expect to learn lots from the book. Uh, but uh, you can still be amazed by the pictures it comes with it. And there were some pictures in there which I didn't really recognize and I've seen a lot of pictures of Queen. I will give it a listen after this video because I'm going to end this video right now. I'm going to listen to it straight away. If you like more vinyl Queen videos, please let me know because I have a ton of vinyl of Queen. Interesting to know I also, I have some more box sets but uh, I opened them already. But if you're interested in seeing that into a review as well, 
uh, please let me know. Um, what will also be an interesting idea would be my Queen vinyl collection. Would you be up for a Queen vinyl collection? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, so thank you all very much for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel to keep the uh, channel up. So uh, without further ado, thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time as well.